Hi, Mitzi's readers. This is Leslie, and here I am with Mitzi Beach on the right of your screen and Sarah Miller on the left of your screen. And as you can see, there is a slight difference between them. <laughs> Guess what that might be? <laughs> but actually, they have a lot more in common than you might think, and that is actually what we're here to talk about today in this short little um, interview for Mitzi's blog. And that is their dedication um, at an early age and at a later stage in life to healthy living uh, and wellness. And so, Mitzi, let's talk first with you just a little bit about, you know, how living healthy has led you to where you are today and what you're able to accomplish today. So you want to share, share a sure. few words about that? I have been a believer in we are what we eat and what we do. We are a walking billboard of what we did 10 years ago, five years ago. So if I want to project what I'm going to feel like in five or 10 years, it's what I'm doing today. And I'm really, really excited about talking to people about their healthy homes and healthy futures because it will pay off, right? Yeah, I agree. And Mitzi, really quickly, uh, you, your own healthy eating, living habits have, you know, led you to an enviable, fashionable look <laughs> um, that has been the talk of the town here <laughs> at the KBIS show. And so your cooking habits, the way that your own kitchen is arranged, um, but that's been a lifetime endeavor for you, hasn't it, really? Yes, it has, Leslie. And really, my, my philosophy and my, my work day to day is keep it simple sister and they coin it clean live clean eating today right Sarah but really it's basically very simple we do no processed hardly bad grammar and fresh fruits and vegetables a protein very very little sugar and lots of exercise when we can but any I'm not a black and white girl I believe that anything is better than none. And um, I'm really very uncomplicated, but I believe in all matters. That's wonderful. And now let's move to you, Sarah, and let's talk a little bit about your own uh, journey sure. so far in your life to where you are today and with what you want to do in your life. Can you share a little bit about um, sure. your beliefs? So, so I... Um, got into health about four years ago. I was very young, probably 15, and looking at pictures of beautiful models on magazines. You've heard it all before, and I just wanting to look like that and being at a very young, vulnerable age and just not particularly liking the way I look and wanting to change. So, you know, I started looking up articles and, and simple recipes that would help me look the way I wanted to look. Um, and that made me miserable, to be quite honest, because it wasn't happening. I was never happy with myself because I could never get to the place that, that these high expectations want, wanted me to be. Um, so years later, uh, and more recently, I found a, a mindset, finally, that was more balanced. And I allowed myself to have cake when I wanted cake, <laughs> and I allowed myself to eat the foods I also loved, which were, you know, chicken and broccoli and I finally found a mix you know I didn't feel like I had to go run on the treadmill for an hour after eating something that wasn't uh, necessarily clean mm -hmm. uh, as you said and now now I'm happy with myself and my body and uh, I found uh, I'm actually a, a weightlifter which may not look like it but I am <laughs> and mm -hmm. I I wanted to compete in a powerlifting competition and um, it, it's more about your, your strength in yourself, and not necessarily your aesthetic. And that's what I love about this type of, of exercise. And for anybody who can find that, to can find that balance and something that they truly love to do, then that's when you're, that's when you're healthy, I think, in my opinion. That's wonderful. And you just mentioned such an important word that um, I know that, let's see, you and I have talked about quite a bit, which is balance and how you approach a lifelong program of wellness, both in living and health, in design, your home, etc. Yeah, and how, uh, let's talk about that a little bit. Mitzi, what are some of the things that you do to bring balance to um, your life? I really 
have to what I call close out the world. I have to have my total crash down Mitzi time. And I'm a firm believer in I cannot give away what I don't have. And therefore, many people that, especially women, they think it's selfish to think of themselves. If I am not taking care of me, I can't be the mother, the grandmother, the husband, the friend, the sister, the designer. It all comes from me, and I have to replenish that. And I'm also a very big believer, everything I talk about is that 80-20. And what um, Sarah so beautifully said was she's going to have the food she likes. And I think so many people think that it has to be this regimental, strict. Nobody can stay with that. Sarah said it beautifully about it's a lifestyle. And 80% 80, 80 of the time, I'm on it. I know how to work this. But 20% or give or take, depending, like if I'm at a, a blog tour in Vegas, I'm, it's not the 20. But I'm going to have my pizza. I'm going to have my chip dip. But let me tell you, when I get home, I'm on it. Yeah. And I really believe in, in watching my weight. And I, I'm not paranoid. I'm not obsessive. But I know when I get on the scale and I'm up, it's like my bank account. I'm overdrawn. And I need to get out of the red. So what can I do to get back in the black? And that's where I'm back on my 80% of the time. That's a great answer. Thank you for sharing that. What about you, Sarah? What are some of the things? I mean, you face obviously different stressors at this point in your life uh, than, than Mitzi might. But so what are some of the things that you do uh, to stay balanced given all your different activities? Well, I, I, take, it, I take everything as it comes. I try not to make long-term goals that say, uh, again, you know, no eating this for this blog tour. Don't overindulge too much because that's what this is all about. It, it's life. You know, you have, to, you have to enjoy these moments, and then you do have to understand that when you get back to normal life, you have to go back to your normal eating and your normal exercise, mm -hmm. and once you get to that point, then it, then it becomes, you know, second nature. It's easy. Mm -hmm. I, I am thankfully at a point in my life so young um, that I, I, I can already uh, reset and get back to, you know, my normal habits when I'm back. It's not, it's not a struggle any longer for me. And um, let's talk a little bit about, you know, the big bugaboo word for so many people, which is exercise. Um, is there another word that we can think of besides exercise to... Therapy. What's that? Therapy. Therapy. I love that. There, <laughs> You're right. There, there are so many different ways to exercise, yes. whether it be swimming, weightlifting, running, um, what do you Walking is walking. good. Yeah, walking, it doesn't walking is better be. than, than running in many ways because it's Especially. easier on the joints. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, if if you can find something, anything that you love, then then it's not exercise anymore. Then it's just it's part of your, your daily schedule, and that's what needs to happen. It needs to just become ingrained into your life. So what you're really saying is just find anything that incorporates movement in your body. Yeah that you love to do. So that could be, you know, dancing by yourself dancing. in your living room, right? Absolutely. Um, as long as, you know, you enjoy doing it. Yeah. No That's one's all that matters. Whatever. And again, it's that word regimental mm -hmm. and strictness that just is like, oh, yeah. I, I don't want to, I don't want, you know. It doesn't I, have to be that It scary. doesn't work for us. It might work short time, but it will not become a lifestyle. And I've had many people say, Oh, well, you only walked a half hour. What, what's that doing? That half hour is better than me sitting at my desk or stressing over something. Mm -hmm. and, when I, and I love walking outside. And I take my little eight-pound Tess, and she has me trained, and I carry her there <laughs> to our destination, and she wants down, and we walk back together. And it's my weightlifting. And people think it's hysterical, but it works for me. Yeah, whatever and it's works for finding you. something that works, that you enjoy. Yeah. And when it's really bad weather in the part of the country that I am, I have to go to the Y. But I also have DVDs for yoga 
and I'm a believer in bands. And, I mean, there's all yeah. kinds of things that are not necessarily two hours at the gym. Yeah, and that's you know? not necessary. Yeah. You, you need maybe an hour, 45 minutes even. It's, Anything it's, is yeah. better than nothing, Anything's right, yeah. Sarah? I agree. Mm -hmm. So do you think it just, it's about really incorporating um, therapy into your life as a routine? And a reward, yes. Not something that is, is dreaded. So as long as it, you find something you enjoy, mm -hmm. it shouldn't be a problem to do it every day. Or and most of the time, do you find this that you're putting it off during your day, but mm -hmm. once you do it, you're once like, you do it, oh, why, yes. why wasn't I here sooner? Yes, exactly. Why wasn't yeah. I doing this? Yeah. Because then it becomes like candy to a baby. Yeah. You're very happy. You're sat, you know that the benefits, I can feel myself coming down. And I'm not one, I know a lot of people, and I don't ditch that, that it's, again, it's their regimen. They mm -hmm. say, if I don't do it first thing, it ain't going to happen. Yeah. For me, I just want to do it, yeah. whatever that looks like. Well, this has been a great, great conversation. Thank you so much for uh, the time. And I am sure, Missy, that your readers will find this illuminating. And, it's been great to meet you, Sarah. Real quickly, Sarah, your, what are your plans now for uh, your future in wellness? I am currently um, getting my certification in personal training. Um, and this fall, I'm going to school for pre-health, actually. I plan on uh, registering as a dietitian soon, so I'll sort of cover the full spectrum of health there. Um, a little medical, a little hands-on personal training, and then also helping people find the foods that they should eat and the foods that they can also allow themselves to eat because because every food should be not Acceptable. off limits. Yes, mm -hmm. right, right. And I feel like that's that's the goal to balanced, healthy, sustainable lifestyle. Makes it fun. Yeah, yeah. You know, life is short. Yeah. And for some of us, it's getting shorter. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a lot of fun. And Mitzi's readers, um, we all hope you enjoy it. And if you would like to leave any comments please do in the comments here on the blog post. Thanks a lot.